Hello and welcome to another video tutorial from ComputerGaga.com. This tutorial will look at how to add a running total column to a spreadsheet. Now running total columns are very popular. They're great for tracking account transactions or stock levels, adding stock to an inventory, these typical scenarios. I have a spreadsheet on screen at the moment to try and uh, typify that. We have a, a list of something that's happening every day and a value to represent that. Very general idea that hopefully we can relate to different scenarios. We would like to create a running total. So in cell C2, the first total, I'm going to write the sum function. And I'm going to write it as equal sum, opening bracket. I'm going to click on cell B2. Then I'm going to press my F4 key on the keyboard to put some dollar signs in there and fix B2. That will stay still there. It's always the first cell of the sum function. Always. That will be absolute. Colon. As soon as I put the colon, it guesses at B2 for the other end. And it takes that off. I don't expect that. Let me just click in there and press F4 again. And I'm just going to add a dollar sign before the other column B, which is maybe a bit petty and not that necessary. But what we're doing here is we're fixing the first cell, but we're keeping the row relative there. So as we copy the formula down column C, it'll always change height. It's always including the next number in line. So it's always adding the extra cells as it goes on its own. First bit is fixed, the second is not, it is relative. Close and bracket enter. And I was at the moment just adding 300. But as we copy that down, it will add 300 with 29 on top. If I copy it down more, it picks them all up. Adding as we go, we have a running total. Click on these cells, you can see it's B2 to B7. So it's always increasing to add that next row in line. Very clever skill. Now as I do that, I'm getting a warning message. Uh, the formula in this cell refers to a range with adjacent, sorry, additional numbers adjacent to it. So it's, it's getting a bit confused as to why I've not told it to add all of them. Why, why am I missing numbers out? Now I can remove this message by selecting them cells and telling it to ignore the error. What I'm going to do instead is go into the error checking options, which you can also do through file and options. So you see this takes me to the Excel options, the formulas category. In the bottom right, I'm going to uncheck the box for formulas which omit cells in the region. So I'm telling it to, to stop worrying about that, to stop querying that stuff. Now, it's up to you if you do this. So see, I don't want the green triangles there. I think they're quite ugly. But, you know, this is quite handy. These error checking rules are, are prompting you. It's saying, oh, I found this. Is it OK? So if it's not OK, you're, you're on to it straight away. Whereas without it, obviously you're not going to get that bit of help. But I'm going to take the, make the decision to that I don't want them. I'm going to disable that error checking rule. Click OK, and then triangles are gone. Uh, long term now, they're gone forever until I decide to bring that back. Um, running totals without the hassle. I uh, hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial, how to add a running total column to your spreadsheet. Please check out some rubber tutorials, some rubber tips at computergaga.com.